And so the topic, what we talked about before we started going live is what happens post pandemic for criminal defense? What happens with the courts? What happens if you're locked up? What happens right now? Because this our, our environment now is so different than it was before. So just uh, let's talk through that. What what happens right now? What's going on right now in the criminal field at the moment? Okay, so we'll break it up into two things. If you're out of custody, then things are awesome because there isn't going to be any court until at least June 1st. That's when out of custody court is allegedly going to start again in Hillsborough County. In Pinellas County, I think anywhere, basically all the courts are after June 1st. So can you hear Justin, hold on one second because I I can't. Let me make sure I can hear you. Let me hold on a second. Okay. Okay, fine. I can. I we can still hear you on Facebook Live. All right. So let. Right. So go back to what you're saying. So if you're if you're out of custody, good for you. Uh, just hang tight. Don't get into trouble. For now. If you're in custody, you're obviously not hearing me, but maybe some family member is. So. If you're in custody, obviously you're stuck and you want to get out. Well, it's a very bad place to be to be in custody right now because being in jail is a very dangerous place to be during uh, the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, all sorts of people like the World Health Organization say it's very dangerous for people to be stuck in custody because there can't be any social distancing. Uh, the, the primary counties where I work are Hillsborough and Pinellas counties. And in both of those counties, there's been a concerted effort by the judges to get people out of jail. So if you're in jail, you should be calling an attorney to try to get you out. And the two ways you might be able to get out of jail is you might be able to make a deal with the state to get you a sentence that gets you out of jail now. <clears throat> or if you can't get that, you might be able to file a bond motion and get your bond lowered or uh, get a uh, release on your own recognizance or release on an ankle monitor on your own recognizance so that you can, uh, if you can't resolve your case, at least you can be out of jail while all this is happening in a, in a safer place. Uh, I've done both. I know a lot of attorneys have done both. Uh, the judges have been very understanding and have been trying to let people out. Now, some people have been screwing up, getting out and going back in. Obviously, okay. if you get yourself out, stay out of trouble. Go ahead. All right. So, but that doesn't mean they're gonna, that doesn't mean that their charges are going to go away, correct? That just means that they'll be out for health reasons, but they're still on "quote unquote" probation or house arrest or something like that. Is that correct? Or that could be true. Um, that could be true. Although, especially with minor charges, uh, the state has been dropping in Hillsborough County, dropping a lot of charges. Okay, I think. Good. I think even in Pinellas County, uh, you might get some some traction with the state right now, uh, just because everyone is concerned uh, in the criminal justice system that there's going to be a flood of cases that are going to overwhelm the court potentially if we don't resolve cases now uh, when uh, social distancing ends and the courts are properly reopened. So, for instance, which I'll get to in a minute, in Tampa, on a driving while license suspended charge, the state has been null processing them, which is to say they've been dropping the cases sort of en masse. So as long as you don't have uh, a DUI or some sort of uh, felony driver's license suspension, the state is, has just been dropping those cases left, right, and sideways. Uh, if you've got one open, you probably got something in the mail saying you've got a new court date way out in May or even June, July. And then hard on the heels of that, you got something from the state attorney's office saying they dropped the case, uh, in which case, obviously, you don't have to go in June or July. But we'll talk about what you can do in a minute, because that doesn't mean that you're off the hook. It just means that this particular one criminal case has gone away. Presumably, your underlying problem remains, and you might want to hire a lawyer now to deal with that. In fact, now is a really good time to deal with that. Okay. Is it a good time because it's not as busy or good just because? Because they're dropping the cases. Well, and they're giving more leeway, I guess. It's Now is a good time for three reasons. Reason number one, if you haven't gotten some money from the government, you're about to. So you're about to have a little bit of money that you didn't think you were going to have. So True. right now might be a good time to spend that money to get your license back. Two, us attorneys, 
well, you, you can see two attorneys now, or you can see uh, Mr. Reyes, but if you could see me, uh, we're sitting here in our living rooms. That means that there's attorneys who have free time to help you. <laughs> what attorneys are standing by. So now yeah. is a good time to call an attorney because the attorneys are hanging out at home and want something to do. Uh, that is a call from the jail. So somebody's calling from the jail. Uh, okay. Okay. And, uh, and third, um, because of all of, because of all of this, you might get, uh, in fact, you're very likely to get more leeway from the state. So your criminal charge has been dropped, but whatever led to your license being suspended is still there. If it's a child support hold, uh, that might, those are all sort of in limbo because of this. But if it's tickets, if your tickets have gone to collections, now's a good time to submit an order to pull them from collections. Uh, if it's because you have other cases or you have uh, court fees that you need paid, Now's a good time to try to get those uh, those fees reduced. This is a good time to try to work everything backward. Uh, and you could save a, a fair amount of money and walk away with a driver's license and not get a future criminal case. So if you had an open criminal case and you just got a null process from the state, you've just gotten free money two ways. One, presumably you've just gotten a, some money from the government. And two, you don't have to pay the court costs on the case because the state just dropped it. So now you've got some free money. Go get a license. Okay, good, good. So what happens if you, let's say the crime is pretty big and you actually end up going to jail and getting locked up? I mean, and they're not going to release you. I mean, is, is there any, any, anything that you've seen different now than before? Yes. Um, so in both Hillsborough and Pinellas counties, they've been opening up sort of special dockets. Regular court is closed, but they've, they've been opening up special dockets to try to uh, get cases resolved for people who are in custody. So as I said at the beginning, obviously, it, this is good if you want to bond out uh, or resolve your case in a, a way that gets you out. But maybe there isn't that option. Maybe there isn't that option. Uh, maybe you were looking at significant prison time and there's not a way you're going to get probation or, or house arrest uh, or time served and you're still looking at significant prison time. Even okay. with that, right now, uh, the state attorneys are in a position where they don't want a, a flood of cases. In June. So they're in a position right now where, you know, you might still go to prison. You might, you might still get some prison time, but you, you may well be in the best possible position to get the best possible deal on your case right now if you want to work a deal. Okay. Um, that's all. The society, I know on our side, on our side, uh, we're, we still have a lot of pending cases. I'm just going to work from home, so uh, all the hearings are telephonic or Zoom. Um, they're happening not as frequently. Uh, any trials are being pushed out for a long time. Um, we're still seeing, you know, we're still getting clients. It's just not as often because of, uh, you know, clearly on the streets. And it, it's just been different. It's been different. I mean, on my side, it's different than your side in particular because you actually have to go to court on a regular basis. We have hearings, stuff like that. Um, so it, it's it's so different. Like civil and criminal are, are two different things. If you, if anybody out there has any questions, um, I know I know you can't see Justin. I'll probably edit this video and I'll probably put a little icon of his picture on it. But if anybody has any questions about uh, this criminal defense and post pandemic and post corona and how it affect your life and how it affect your freedoms, uh, drop a comment below. We'll be we'll be. Uh, commenting on all those things throughout the day or throughout the weeks. Now is a good time to hire a criminal defense lawyer uh, because we've got time on our hands. And if you've got some free money from the government, this is your moment. Uh, <clears throat> you may well get the best possible deals right now that you would ever get in these contexts because uh, <clears throat> both because the defense attorneys are in a way to work more on your cases because there's less work for us. And also yeah. because the state attorneys are concerned that it's going to get ugly quick when court comes back on. So now okay. is your moment. It's money well spent. 